Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving Confounded by Philip Newman. This is a Renpon Sudoku, so that means we have normal Sudoku rules, replacing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. And also we have some kind of pinkish purple Renbon lines in the grid. And along each of these lines, we have to have a, um, a set of consecutive digits with no repeats, but they can appear in any order. So for example, we could have the digits three, four, five, six along a four cell line, but they could appear scrambled up in any order. So first of all, this line has a one on it, so it has to be one, two, three, four. So we're going to place a 4 there and a 2 there. This line already has a 3 and a 4, but it can't have a 2 on it by Sudoku because we already have 2s. So it must be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 because there's a 5 and 6 in row 5. We're going to place a 7 there, a 5 there, and a 6 there. And we can pencil in the last three cells as 1, 8, and 9. Now here... This 2 tells us that this set of four digits is either 1, 2, 3, 4, or 2, 3, 4, 5. So the remaining digits here are from 1, 3, 4, and 5. And this cell can't contain a 1, a 4, or a 5, so this is a 3. This it can't be a 4 or a 5 because those already appear in the column, so that's a 1, which means that we're in the 1, 2, 3, 4 universe, and we can eliminate 1 right there. And that line is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, because we already have a 6 and an 8 here, this has to be either 5, 6, 7, 8, or 6, 7, 8, 9. But because there's a 5 in row 6, it can't be 5, 6, 7, 8. So it must be 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're going to place a 7 and a 9 there and there. That leaves these two cells to contain 1 and 8 to finish off the row. Now, if we look here... We need to place a 1 somewhere in row 3. It can't go there because this can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have to place a 1 right there. That means that now these have to be 6, 8, and 9. And this can't be 6 because there's a 6 on the line already. And it can't be 9 because there's a 9 in the column. So that's an 8. Now we need all of the consecutive digits. So we have to have a 7 on here somewhere to go in between the 6 and the 8. And it can't go in column 7 since there's already a 7 there. So that's a 7. Meaning the last digit here, because this is either 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, has to be 4 or 9. And there's a 9 right below it, so it is a 4. There's only one position left for 3 in this region, and then these last two cells are going to be 2 and 5. That means we'll finish the row with 1, 8, and 9. That can't be 8 because there's an 8 in the column already. And we can also eliminate 8 from these cells. Now I'm going to look over here. Specifically, I'm going to focus on this cell, but I'm going to look at this whole column too. So I need a 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6 in this column. These guys can't be 1 or 5 because there's a 1 and 5 in the region, and this can't be a 2. Now, can this be 3? Well, if it was 3, the biggest this Renbon line could be would be 3, 4, 5, 6. But we already have a 7, so we know that's not right. So that must be the 6, making this a 9. And so we need an 8 on the line, which has to go right there. So we can eliminate 6 from here and from here. That means these digits are 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's not a 6 because the 6 in the, in the row. And then there's a 5 in the column. And this is not 3 or 4. And this can't be 6. So we do know that there has to be a 6 on one of these. This has to be our 2 because there's nowhere else to put 2 in that region. And this must be either 8 or 9. And now because this is an 8, 9 pair in row 5, that's our 1. We have a 9 here now, so that's a 1, an 8 in column 6, so that's a 9, resolving these. Now in this column, we need a 3, 7, and 8, and this is not a 3, because there's a 3 in the region, and this is not an 8, because there is an 8 in the row. Here we need 2, 3, 4, and 6 to finish off this column, and here we need 5, 6, 7, and 9. Now we can't put a 9 anywhere on this Renbon line, because if we did, we'd also have to have an 8 on the line. But 8 can't be on the line, 8 is elsewhere in the region. So the 9 actually goes right there. And then this is either 5 or 6, and that's where we're going to put our 7 in the column. Because there's a 7, we can't be in the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 universe, so this is not a 2. So we can now place 2. 
We also can't place a one on the line anymore, so the one has to go down here. We can eliminate one and two there, which makes this our one for column seven. And then these are going to be from three, four, five. And that's not a four because there is a four in the row. In this region, we now need five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We definitely can't have a nine here because we have to have at least a three or a four on the line here. So we can eliminate nine there. We can also eliminate eight because there's an eight in the column already. So one of these guys is going to be a nine. That can't be a six. That can't be a seven or a six or an eight. So this is the only position for eight in the region. That makes this a three seven pair, which resolves. And the three we just placed allows us to place a three right here. So that's not a three. And that tells us there is a three on this line. So this line must be three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, seven, which does in fact match up with what we have there. So we have five, six, and seven already. So we can eliminate six here and place a six. And now we know where the five has to go. And then that's going to be a seven. Okay. Now we need in this column a six and a nine. That finishes the column. Here we need two, five, and eight. And that can't be an eight. That can't be a two. In this row, we need two, five, six, and nine, and that can't be five or six. These are going to be two, three, four, and nine. These are going to be three, four, and seven. Seven can't go there, so that's going to be the seven. Um, this is also from two, three, four, nine, but it's not two or nine because those are already in the row. So we have a three, four pair going vertically, so we can eliminate three and four from right here. Uh, this is going to be a 5 because we have a 6 in the column, and that should help a lot. That makes this a 2, 9, and 6, and that's not a 2, that's in fact a 5. And now we'll have a 2 here, which resolves this 2-5 pair. And we can finish up with classic Sudoku. And that's how you solve Philip Newman's Confounded. Hope you guys liked that one. The link to check it out yourself is in the description of this video, and I'll see you again in three days.